Well, I'm back, and this time I've got three days' worth of sales. I got January 26th, January 27th, January 28th of the best-selling, or the most expensive manga, I should say, uh, on eBay. So what I do, I look at eBay, type in manga English, go to sold listings, and look for the days. And today, I'm doing three days' worth, the 26th, 27th, 28th, because doing it daily takes a lot of time and effort, so <laughs> that's why I'm, I'm, and I will be back, and I'll do um, probably the first half of the current week, but let's get into the listings, and uh, I'm going to do today, because it's three days worth, I'm going to do the top 20, but I'm also going to do a uh, couple honorable mentions, and the first honorable mention is One Piece, Volume 7, Gold Foil Edition. This is Viz Media 2005. Sold for $11.50. Now, why am I putting on such a cheap book? The thing is, like a lot of the previous listings always had uh, gold foil one piece editions, right? And they, they generally go for around $40, $30, $40, $50, somewhere in there. This one went for $11.50. This seller looks like they were getting rid of their collection of gold foils and they put them all up for bid. The thing about a bid is you just never know, right? It could end on one bid. It could end on 20. Hard to say, right? It just depends who's buying at that time. So just because something normally goes for a lot of money on eBay doesn't mean it always will. And I'll show you another example of that later down the list. My second honorable mention, Chainsaw Man, Volume 4, Third print, $37.07, Viz Media 2021. What the heck is going on with this? This is like <laughs> third print of volume four of Ch Chainsaw Man. I don't get it. Like you can still buy these on Amazon and it's a, it's a third print. It's not even a first print, which normally would excite the premium. But anyway, so on with the list. Starting off with number 20, this one makes me happy uh, because I have two of them still in the wrap that I get for a really good deal. Made in Abyss Volume 10 went for $37.99, Seven Seas 2022. So very new book. Again, it's just the, uh, the Seven Seas premium that they just didn't print enough basically, right? So they're valuable now, but if a lot of these went back to print, uh, they might not be as valuable. So just always be aware of that. Okay, number 19, Tokyo Babylon, volumes 1 through 7. Uh, this was seven different volumes. Went for $275 American. $39.29 a piece. Pretty good premium, pretty good premium. Number 18, Kimi no Todoke, volume 4. Uh, went for $39.99. Viz Media 2010. Uh, I've just watched this one on Netflix. You can be warned you're, you're going to binge watch it just because <laughs> it's one of those old uh, traditional romance ones where you know very it's agonizing how slow the development between the couples happens but it just yeah it is very sweet and wholesome as well so and you root for the characters and yeah that's no, a good one if, if you have netflix give it a try so kimi no todoke Number 17, we've seen this one before, High School of the Dead, Volume 2, uh, 4323, Yen Press, 2011. All the High School of the Dead seem to go for a fair amount of uh, around that $40 to $50 range. So, Number 16, Persona 5, Memento's Mission, Volume 3, a Barnes & Noble exclusive. Now, the thing is, a regular copy... A volume three, you can still acquire very easily at cover price. I believe it's because this was the Barnes and Noble exclusive that it went for $44.50. And this is very new, came out in 2022 from Udon. Number 15, Bleach, Can't Fear Your Own World. Volume three, light novel. Uh, we saw another volume three go for 50 57 and This one went for $49.99. So very close in price, uh, Viz Media 2021. It's surprising that some of these light novels can actually go for that amount of money. Um, you wouldn't think that light novels would be so hot and desirable, but uh, a lot of Bleach fans out there though. Number 14, and I have the feeling that the seller just underpriced this. 
because on January 24th, uh, one of these went for $189.99. This one is freezing omnibus volume 7 to 8, went for $49.99. So about $140 cheaper two days later. Seven Seas 2016. Uh, this was not a bid. This was literally a buy it now. Um, I think it was just underpriced, to be honest. They probably could have gotten more, and imagine it went very quickly. Number 13. I was wondering when this one might make an appearance. This is Beck, Mongolian Chop Squad, Volume 10. Went for $49.99 from Tokyo Pop. Originally published 2007. Number 12 is another book that went for $49.99. And this one, that's actually its cover price. So number 12 is Rose of Versailles, Volume 1, hardcover. This is a reprint. It's a recollection of or a collection of a classic manga um, from Udon 2021. Rose of Versailles is one of the earliest manga. So it's nice to see it getting some love. And it's just, it's not surprising that it went for this amount. Number 11, what if I told you? There was 37 books that went for an average of $54.05. Could you name the title? 37 volumes went for $1,999.99. Two grand. It's from Dark Horse, 2008. It's Gantz. Gantz is, like I said, i blown away this one hasn't been on the list yet, but the main reason is because they usually go for offer accepted. And I can't list the offers accepted because I don't know what they went for. But yeah, these went for two grand. Number 10. One with one of the most banging opening uh, theme songs of all time. Flame of Rekka, Volume 27. First print. Went for $59.99. Viz Media 2008. Um, if you have a chance to look at the Flame of Rekka opening, you should do so because darn it's good. Number nine is an old friend to this list, and we've uh, seen it many times. It's Vagabond, Volume 21. So this one went for $60 US. Number eight is a new one for us. Um, Emma, Omnibus, Volume 2, 3, and 5. Emma is one of those Victorian romance ones where it's the maid um, falls in love with the, uh, the Lord, or the Lord falls in love with the maid, and they have a relationship and yeah really that's all I know about it but uh, those three volumes went for $195.49 that's $65.16 a piece from Yen Press 2016 number seven speaking of the one piece gold foil edition it's volume 21 Viz Media 2009 again um, these usually go for uh, a high premium but if you're going to list something for $9.99 on eBay, be prepared that it may actually go for $9.99, even though it's, it could be worth, worth much more. Number six is an ex-library copy, and these things always kill me. But it's Blade of the Immortal, Volume 29. Went for $72 from Dark Horse 2014. So we've seen a number of these ex-library books show up on this list, and it just astounds me because they're... They're going to be in rough shape, um, but it just speaks, I guess, to the rarity of these particular sales. So, number five. I told you it would be here. I knew it would be here. Main Nabis, Volume 4, $99.99. Seven Seas, 2018. Uh, the thing is, that is not the most valuable Main Nabis volume. Um, there's one that I'm going to say I know will always go for more money, and that's coming up in a couple positions. But great manga, still looking for it. Number four, Fruits Basket, Volume 23. Went for $100.47 from Tokyo Pop 2009. Fruits Basket is an immensely popular series. Um, if you don't know about it, just Google it. It's uh, Yeah, it's, it, it's a big one, so I'm not surprised. And went for you know hundred dollars for a single uh, volume if they're the later ones that are hard to find. Number three, Maiden Abyss, Volume Seven. This is the one. Volume Seven I know is going to be 
the the one that's going to always go for the most because it looks like it was the most underprinted. Um, number two, Kami Sama Kiss, Volume Twenty Five, an art book. These two books went for three hundred and twenty five dollars, or about one hundred and sixty two dollars and fifty cents each, from Viz Media, twenty seventeen. Uh, the Kami Sama Kiss Volume 25 usually doesn't go for that much. I have the feeling it might be the art book. That's the hard one to get a hold of. Number one was a weird one. Um, <laughs> I'm, I've been collecting comics for a number of years. And this is the kind of behavior you have in the comics industry. So what it was, it was, uh, it's, I guess you could call this one more of a graphic novel than a manga because it was produced in the States, but it still came up on my listing. Um, it's put out by DH Animations in 2021. And what it is, it's Dog Ninja, Volume 1. However, on the original publication, uh, the word was not Ninja, so I won't repeat it, but... Um, so what you have is formal fear of missing out. So what happened was... <clears throat> The author, uh, DH Animations, put out a set number of these copies with the original title. Uh, they probably began to sell, but figured maybe they would sell better if they didn't have the particular word on the cover. So they went back and republished under Dog Ninja, uh, Volume 1. But one of these older original copies went for $299.95 American. Um, again, this is <laughs> typical comics behavior. It's like if something becomes rare or there's a recall, everybody wants it, right? So, And they're willing to pay big dollars for it. So in this case, it was basically like $300 um, for a book. Will it maintain its value? I don't know, but there's a lot of that sort of gambling and speculation. Um, Whereas I find manga, it's more of the, it's hard to find, right? So you want it, you want the complete run, the collection, but there's always one, two, three volumes that are always underprinted. Uh, you always have to pay a little bit more for it. Anyway, there you have it. Um, I'll put up my spreadsheet. It was interesting. Most of the sales were from the 26th and 27th. Uh, the 28th really had, was a really slow day. Um, I noticed that on the weekends, it tends to tail off a little bit. So it seems like all the big prices go midweek. But who knows? That might change. Uh, thanks again for watching, everyone. Bye-bye.